my name's Matt Somerville. I started this kind of living with bees probably about 12, 14 years ago. I built at least 500, probably nearly 600 now. I knew Gus when he was in his 20s and, and was a wildlife photographer. But Gus is passionate about the bees here and increasing that biodiversity and awareness. It is a huge privilege to come to Glyndebourne and set this up. Normally when I'm sighting, I think, how far would you go with a cup of tea or a glass of champagne perhaps here? Maybe they can have a seat and people can enjoy watching these insects. Really all I'm doing is providing a nest site, somewhere which is warm, that the bees can find by themselves. There's no management, they can grow comb by themselves. At the top of the hive they'll store honey, which is then what they feed themselves and their brood throughout the year. They are a key pollinator, so we need them not just for our own flowers and vegetables, but the whole of our ecosystem, they're, they're vital. And with the biodiversity collapse, and the more and more diseases that bees are getting, we need to stand back a bit and look at the bee, how it lives in the wild, and perhaps learn a bit from the bee rather than just wanting honey. I think we forget there's actually their food for them to get through the winter. And sometimes with our, our seasons here, it might actually mean they've got to last on that honey till May. Today, what I would like to do is open up this hive. And by opening it up, we get to get a good idea of how much comb they've built, how big the colony is and also how much propolis there is. Propolis is key for bee health. It's, um, it comes from plant resins. It's like a sticky red glue. It's antifungal, antimicrobial, antiviral. It's this amazing medicine. The key thing is not to feel rushed. And then you just want to wait, open it a bit. You can see one's little head, so I'm going to just be really slow. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven combs. The comb is made from scales that they sweat out. And so looking up here, it's really nice. You can see propolis on the combs, which is a good sign. They seem calm, which is nice. You know, I haven't got a suit on or anything and um, they're quite relaxed. They're really lovely dark bees. So I'm really pleased about that. One bee will, will suddenly find the nest and go back and tell her sisters and then bring others in. And then she'll go back and she'll do a waggle dance to all the other bees, giving the direction and location of that nest. And on the hive, you'll see a lot of these scouts and they'll be wiggling their bottoms in the air, letting out this scent. And that draws the bees in. Rather than all just pile in, they form like a, a queue and they go in the hive like water going down a plug hole. It's incredible to watch. You know, it's just that energy is, you know, what's not to like. <laughs>